Yeah, diesel fuel is not supposed to look like that. Is there any water? No, I'm not really seeing water. I expected water. But yeah, that's filthy. Filthy. Alright, so the passenger side tank, it has a cap. I don't know how much fuel's in it, because there's a cage inside. get that off yeah there's a cage in this one the other one doesn't have a cage in it looks nasty so that one ought to be real fun to try and clean out then on this side of the truck we've got one that I've put a bottle on it I don't know if you guys seen in another video where it had a paint cap in it which paint caps got a hole in the top of it anyways so basically it was just a funnel catching all the rainwater and putting it into the tank. I know when I checked the depth with a stick, it was depth. Anyways, when I checked the depth with a stick, it was, uh, I could feel a little something in the bottom, a little something smushy, kind of like the bottom of a pond. So I'm going to imagine this, well, I don't even have to imagine it. I've got it in my filters. That's a set of new filters I just put on there. Literally drove it two miles, and I've started it once for a uh, uh, previous video which was yesterday but I don't know if this will be tomorrow today or whatever so anyways we're gonna have to drain these tanks I've got some buckets with lids I got some short buckets that I'll probably have to use to pour into these because I'm gonna have to get down under here in the bottom I've got a line here with a valve and the same thing on the other side what I do with that that right there equalizes the two tanks it's got a tear in it you might be able to see right there this is the line that feeds the engine so I'm gonna have to blow this line out and clean it out disconnect it obviously I'll probably disconnect it before blowing it out anyways so this valve right here if I turn this on this hose will leak so what I'm gonna do is set my buckets in that let it drain all the fuel out of it so then I can disconnect all of this and not worry about getting it all over the ground and I'll have it stored in these buckets so I can use it for I don't know, lighting a fire. I don't know, we'll figure it out. Well, this isn't gonna be able to fit a bucket underneath it, so I gotta disconnect this. Gross, that's that muddy stuff. Put a bucket underneath it. Let it hopefully run into. Oh, nice and fast too. There's so much junk in it. That is gonna take some cleaning. Ugh, chunks. We'll let that fill up. I am, however, glad to see that's not a bunch of water. I thought it was going to be water. It's going to take a long time, and I may have to reach in there and stir with a stick. I don't know. We'll see what happens. It is what it is. Gross. I mean, the bucket was already dirty, but gross. There's plenty more in there, too. Yeah, those chunks were already there. I do know that there was about, well, I tried to pressurize it a little bit. Oh, well, and it did. It made it foamy. But there's, oh, there's six or eight inches inside of that tank so this is gonna take a while Let's see if this bucket will fit looks like it will so while we wait for the other side to slowly drain i guess we can see if there's any fuel in this one it almost kind of sounds empty I'm sure it's not completely empty oh a little bit in this dirty old line It smells like varnish. All right, let's see if this tank's got any fuel in it. Oh, that's tight. I had it open the other day, though. Yep. Oh, 
car smells like gasoline. Like old, old, old gasoline. Yep. I guess it's diesel. I've never messed with that much with old diesel as much as I have with old gasoline. Brody Jody. This passenger side flowing way faster. <clears throat> but it smells way worse too. I'm gonna guess that that hose underneath where it's busted, that it broke and they quit using that other tank a long time ago and it just had this nasty old fuel sitting in it. This one over here, as you can see, still slowly but surely, but boy, I had oh, six or eight inches of fuel in there when I tested it with a stick. So there's gonna be a bunch. I already got this bucket halfway full. That's two and a half gallons. Gonna have to get a cap for that. For right now, I just want to get it cleaned out. I tried pressurizing it with the air and a rag, and that didn't really speed much up. Once I get all the fuel out of it, I'll end up taking these valves off and cleaning them all out. If they're, you know, they should be reusable. But I'll clean those all out really good and clean the fuel line out which it runs up here to the motor I'm gonna pressure pressure wash these tanks out is my plan the other side it has that that thing on the inside to keep you from being able to siphon fuel or something maybe I'm not really sure how I'm gonna clean that one out but I haven't had any chunks out of it and the flow has been really really good see this one here this is the second time I have to shut it off Go ahead and get it turned off so I can dump it out. This one's flowing great. I'd say whenever that that equalizer line there, when it tore, they probably just shut this tank off and just ran off of one tank. Because this stuff stinks. Alright, so passenger side. <clears throat> passenger side's drained. I think we got about 15 gallons maybe. Yeah, probably 15 gallons. I've got 25 gallons right here. And this old passenger side, boy, it's still going. There's another two and a half, three gallons. Turn that off. Keep filling buckets. So far, the count's 30 gallons. Yep. Those are full. That side's done. This side's not going to get pressure washed out because it came out clean. There were zero chunks, no water, um, no nastiness, just funky diesel. So it's not to mention this one has a screen in it and a cap on it. Uh, this side was good. I feel like if there's anything to that one, once I get the new line on the bottom, uh, fuel filter should catch whatever that is. But on this side, we are still going. I don't... I know there's like 8 inches of fuel in it. I don't know how big these tanks are. Somebody may know. They may know just by looking at them how big they are. I'm going to guess it's at least... At least 40 gallons. Um, but it should have only been half of it. But put us at 20. I don't know. This is my last bucket. It's got a little bit of used oil, or not used oil, but the crummy hydraulic oil I used to run in my old skid steer. It'll be okay. This stuff's going to good use. It's got a home. Someone's someone's gonna take it, deal with it. So this is probably gonna be day one because it's it's starting to get dark, and I don't want to film in the dark. Film. We no one uses film anymore. But yeah, the uh, fuel filters, which I've got new ones. These will get dumped out. We'll kind of see what's in those. That'll probably be a day two type deal. Um, it may seem like one day because we can watch the video to one day. But um, unless you break it up, you could break it up right now. You could pause it and come back and watch it. That'd work. Anyways, we're going to do fuel filters, fuel line, blow it out. The lines are good. They just, they've been sucking junk up in them and I don't want, I don't want to continue to run that stuff through the system. Uh, yeah, so what we'll do 
we'll get a final count on this right here and call today a day. So we ended up with 32 and a half gallons. That was, that was, that was how much? Yeah, so um, end of day one until day two. All right, it's day two. It's cold out here. I'm gonna just go ahead and wash this tank out because yeah, it needs to, it needs to, the opportunity to be able to dry as well. So I figured just go ahead and wash it out now. It's got a sump in the bottom. I don't know if you guys were able to see that in some of the earlier footage, but it's got a sump. So everything that's in there should run down to that. And for now, I'm just gonna pull the, uh, the drain valve out of the end. I can unscrew it real easy, pull it out. Everything should shoot out of it that way. I mean, if it's not flowing out right, then I'll know. And I'm going to drain it into my bucket, just like I've been doing. Day three, whatever. Something, there was no wind and now there's wind. Makes sense. Okay, so this is my fuel line going to the engine. This is a damage line, which it equalizes the two tanks. It's so fuel can flow back and forth, basically getting to this side so that, you know, you can get fuel to the engine. Um, what I'm gonna do is go ahead and blow this out I don't know if there's a check valve somewhere or not. I don't know if that's, I have no idea. I haven't researched it. But I think what I'm gonna do is <laughs> sniff. Anyways, I'm gonna blow it out going up and have it come out here at the primary filter. So what I'm thinking They'll stick you guys here and let you watch because I don't have anybody to watch for me. All right, so I've got a bucket down below and I'm gonna set you guys up right here. You can watch for me, see if anything comes out. And yeah. You know, holler when it's clear. So there was some dripping, I could see it from the other side. But it only used like 25 pounds, maybe 23 pounds, something like that. All right, fuel line's clear, but it's still disconnected. What I'm gonna do now is pour a little bit of this diesel fuel in here, not very much, just to kind of make sure there wasn't any residual water or anything left. Let it run out into the tank. I'm sure there's gonna be some. There's no way I can get it all, but it does have a sump in the bottom of this, so, you know, that's good. Fuel's running out nice and clear. That's good. Fuel lines hooked back up down here on the bottom. I also reconnected the, the line going uh, from tank to tank, but it's useless. I got the valve turned off. I just don't want it dragging the ground if I decide to start it and move it. We'll see. Um, yeah, I'm going to put some fuel in this and then I'm going to attempt to put pressure in the tank with the air hose gently and see if that will push fuel up and out where the, um, the primary air filter, the primary fuel filter is. By the way, today's been wonderful. My tools, most of my tools, my big tools are in my box on a job. A mulching job and so we used the elegant croissant wrench today works for everything it's really a last resort and I guess uh, if you don't have your tools it's last resort Ugh. I have fuel in the drag tank as well 
versus trying to do it with this jug, but it's got a little bit of red in it. I don't want to risk anything. Not too worried about it, but you never know. Some people might be fuel Nazis. See, it's green. Can you see it? Delicious. Oh, this takes so long. The hard way. This is the way the Flintstones had to fill their stuff. Got the five gallons of fuel in the tank over there. I've got another five I'm going to pour in it. Let's, uh, Let's see if we get any fuel coming out just by pressurizing the tank. I may have to run and grab a rag. I don't know. Keep an eye on it. All right, plastic bag did the trick. Cool. All right, primary. It's full of fuel. If I can screw it on without making a mess. Making a mess. Probably not. Ta-da! Clean this off because I'm going to have to ride on it a little bit. I'll put the mileage and date when I put it on so I'll know. These will probably get changed once again fairly soon just because it's cheap enough, cheap enough insurance for the engine and for for me being stuck somewhere needing a fuel filter. All right, let's pull this secondary. I'm thinking I'll probably put air to it again and blow until it comes out the secondary. I think that it'll work like that. It should. Let's do that real quick. messy okay so the primary and secondary filters are both on what i'd like to do now is put pressure in the tank so that it would push it all the way through but the return is also on that same tank so with that being the case i would think i would just pressurize both ends and it would probably do nothing not sure um i don't know i guess i'm gonna give it a try anyways just shoot a little air in it see see what happens really i think that might have been pointless because i think it's just going to pressurize it from both ends of the tank or you know both ends of the hose it that would do nothing unless the weight of the fuel sitting on the bottom caused it to I, I still i don't think that would do what i want it to do if the return was on the other tank it would make sense the other, the other tank is not connected to this one so uh yeah there's that 
Oh, my beloved fuel cap. I need to get one of those as well. But I didn't want to wait. I will have something sufficient today, though. Being that I've got fresh fuel in it and I don't want to have to clean the tank out again. This needs new ends and new wires. Pretty bad. <coughs> but I do want it to run. So I want to know that it's that it's running sufficiently and then I'm going to chase down all the little gremlins because there's a bunch of them. Getting all new airlines. Snug. Chased out a few wiring issues. There are no wires running to the fuel level sending unit, so that's snug enough. Wait for me. Hmm. My everything wrench. So I was talking about pressurizing the fuel tank. You know, I'm gonna put a little air in it with the air hose and hopefully that'll push fuel up to the top and you know, I won't have an air pocket. But in the future, if you know, if I was able to go get stuff for it today, I'd probably do it today. But I need a filter for this. My buddy Ethan, which you guys have seen, he um, he brought me two of these. One with which he rebuilt, and the other one has like barely been used. I guess just has a couple hours on it. Um, but the plan is, this is a pump. It would have a filter on the bottom of it. What I'm gonna do is probably mount this somewhere in here somewhere up safe but mount it in line so that let's say i lose prime for some reason i'm able to pump it back up with this pump right here and it would also be another another water separator whatever you know water junk dirt <clears throat> i don't know if running three filters would be more difficult for it to pull fuel or not that's something i'm kind of curious about if anybody knows if that would be bad for for the you know pump or anything like that you know leave a comment down below but yeah that is the plan put one of these on there and then anytime it loses prime or anytime i want to do fuel filters i can do that i'd like to put a filter on the bottom of this that has a water separator bulb in it so i can see if there's any water or trash in it and i can drain it out right here before it gets to the primary and secondary filter was it a kitty cat in here? Or Raccoonus Maximus? All right, let's see if she's gonna start. There's a good chance it might not. I may have to bleed the secondary, we'll see.
but I, I wouldn't think that that would work. Like I was saying, if it, if it returned over here on this side, then I wouldn't feel like I was pressurizing both sides of the system. Well, either way, fired right up, running flawlessly, really. first got it there was a little bit of oil coming out right here or it had before but a bunch of it's burned off now so yeah that's good you can hear the air coming out which one tank's holding there the other one's obviously not and i don't know how that's supposed to mount inside of here that doesn't even make sense if you can't pull it forward but when i look up pictures those seem to be the one, the same one that goes in here, or like a replacement or something. A lot of the stuff I find isn't really replacement stuff. It's uh, like old stuff that people have pulled out of trucks. Hopefully it's not going to be hard to find stuff for it. I would like, however, to, you know, update this dash at some point. The, the lights are really dim and inside. I just like to be able to see at night if I'm going to drive it at night. Uh, most of the stuff seems to be working. The temp gauge works, oil pressure works, volts work. Fuel gauge is not wired up. There are no wires to either tanks, so I will have to figure that out. But I'd like to be able to fix this up where it where it looks good. Um, I'm not sure as far as new stuff and old stuff. What I don't even know what that is. I wonder if that's it's not my brake light. My brake light's over here somewhere. Oil pressure light, obviously. See if she fires right back up. that's pretty much it I um, at least for today the fuel filters are changed so we got clean fuel going in there tanks are cleaned out uh, I say for today it's been like three different days of messing with it I am gonna make me a good cap here in just a minute some kind some kind of something that will seal that up I got to just go to town and pick one up but yeah that's what's up she's she's ready to go um, I am kind of curious about what fuel additives I can run through this. Uh, if I could just use diesel clean or if I could run certain injector cleaners, things like that. If there's something that's good or better for, uh, you know, for a Detroit diesel, if anybody knows, feel free to leave a comment, man. Let me know. Uh, I'm learning. I'm all for information. If, oops, I got this like in the camera lens. Yeah, it is, isn't it? My little rubber bands, they're from asparagus, if anybody's curious, you know, the, in the bunches okay you don't care um so yeah i'm gonna continue working on this a lot of the videos are gonna be this kind of stuff i don't know what i'm gonna do with the wheels yet i mean i kind of like them and like i said i don't have to work with them so i'll just take them to a shop i guess and have them them deal with it these are junk um <laughs> these will these trucks do a smoky burnout can we just destroy them i don't know um these front wheels I'm probably just going to replace them. There on this one, I don't know if I've showed it before, but there's a crack right there. And there's one right here. And I don't know if that's from over tightening it or what. They're uh, they're pretty neat, but I don't know that I don't know that you can legally repair them and put them on the road. I'm I'm not sure. So 
if anybody knows about that, you know, also leave a comment. So if there's anything that I need to know about or anything you guys have information about, uh, you know, leave a comment. And if, if you guys are enjoying the content, uh, awesome. You know, let me know. Let me know what you want to see. If you just want to see videos of smoke coming out of the stack, you know, say it. If you guys know good places to get parts for these things, I'm trying to research and trying to find out where I can find stuff for these L9000s. Uh, yeah, because I'd like to update it a little bit. It's it's cheap horsepower, but at the same time, I really kind of love the truck. Like it's it's, in my opinion, it's pretty neat. Also, need to put a bolt in that. Yep. But I'm gonna go make a cap for it, and then I'm gonna make some chicken wings. We're gonna watch some Supercross tonight. So I appreciate you guys watching. If you guys want to see more content like this, you want to keep up with the truck, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and God bless. Check you later.